Some people said it was riveting television that weekend. I've always thought it was more like dramatic telephone. Bob Schieffer was asking me to tell him what I saw. Richard? Bob, there are fires burning, blockades burning uh, at two corners of the square. We could get still photographs out, but not live video, because Chinese authorities had pulled the plug on satellite transmissions. Soldiers now moving into the square again from the south. This time, they're, they're moving exactly toward us. I'm going to move out of the way a bit. Cell phone technology was in its infancy, or, or perhaps its adolescence. The, the things were so bulky and unreliable, I recall my bureau chief telling me when I went out to the square, don't bother taking a cell phone, it won't work. Well, I, I ignored him. Do you hear that gunfire? Fire, we do hear it. Okay, we've got to get out of here. And so the phone was in my hand, and the CBS News control room in New York was recording the call, when a squad of Chinese soldiers turned on us. They're just they're after Derek now. They're ripping away his camera. They're ripping away his camera, and they're coming for us. We're trying to move, move back and move away. We're oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. In fact, um, I wasn't being apocalyptic. I was being cooperative. I was saying, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. But listeners couldn't know that I dropped the phone when a soldier punched me. Hello, this is New York. Does anybody hear us? Or that the gunfire wasn't aimed at us. The troops were firing into the air to hold back a crowd of Chinese civilians rushing to help us. We were captured and confined while the army took back Tiananmen. Not by a massacre of the student protesters still inside the square, it turned out, but by a massive show of force that convinced the demonstrators to move out. 20 hours later, the army let us go. The protest had been brutally suppressed. Its spirit had not. Two days later, the point was made when, on a street called the Avenue of Eternal Peace, uh, there was that famous scene of a man walking in front of a column of Chinese army tanks. A scene as profoundly indelible today as it was then, a sad, brave gesture. And I remember what occurred to me were the words of F. Scott Fitzgerald, show me a hero and I'll write you a tragedy. This correspondent Richard Roth reporting. Hundreds of civilians were killed in that crackdown, not in the square itself, but in the surrounding streets. Most of the world called it a massacre. The Chinese government has always called it the June 4th incident.